That may not stop traffic issues from happening today, however. Thousands of football fans are expected to pack downtown for the Music City Bowl. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy on Broadway this morning. And Dan, we know the streets are going to be filled. The Vols are playing this year, and it's going to be a lot of orange downtown. A sea of orange. You know this is big orange country already, and then you add in uh, all the fans excited for this game, but there's plenty of Nebraska fans we noticed down here as well yesterday. These are uh, two huge tents set up on Broadway. This is the Volunteer Central for Hockey Tonk, and this is the Huskers Lounge, so wisely they've separated the fans into two different tents, but it was packed yesterday when we were down here. Check out this video. We caught up with a lot of Nebraska fans who, they say this is their first time visiting Music City. Of course, for the Tennessee fans, whether they're coming from Knoxville or other parts of the state, out of state, you name it, they've probably been here before. In fact, Tennessee played in the Music City Bowl back in 2010, losing to uh, North Carolina in that game. In this game against the Cornhuskers today, they're favored. We've seen anywhere between a field goal and a touchdown, regardless, volunteers favored to win the game today. 2.30 at Nissan Stadium, right across the river from where we are today. Down here on Broadway, a lot of the pregame festivities start here in just a couple hours. Uh, we caught up with some folks cooking breakfast tacos a few minutes ago. They're getting those grills fired up and ready. At 9 o'clock, this all opens up. Uh, a lot of the bars will be open by then. And then a pregame concert at 12.30. There's a Vols pep rally at 11.30. And then the stage you see set up down here. Montgomery Gentry played a, a free show down there last night. And then at 7 o'clock tonight, there's a postgame concert with Low Cash. Wow, I know that's a lot. It's all on NewsChannel5.com. This place is going to be packed not only tonight, but all weekend long. Happy New Year's to you. Reporting live downtown, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5.